all you are watching simulink tutorial and today we are going to see how to implement physical system equation that is continuous system so let's start so this is an example and we need to calculate the displacement and velocity for this example so by looking at this figure we come up with this equation that is m into d2x by dt square plus b into dx by dt plus kx is equal to f of t so in this equation m is the mass of block then b is frictional constant and k is spring constant and f of t is total force so to implement this equation in model what we need to do so let's have a look at the model so to implement this equation we need to bring this equation in the form of d2x by dt square and rest of the variables on the other side of the equation so if we rearrange this equation in that manner we get d2x by dt square equal to f of t minus b into dx by dt minus kx and this whole addition subtraction is divided by capital M that is mass now that we have the equation in the form of d2x by dt square equal to rest of the variables on other side first we need to implement the integration part so as we know that d2x by dt square when integrated we get dx by dt and when dx by dt integrated we get x so the whole idea of implementing this equation is based on integration so the final output is x of t and if i put integrator here then input to this in integrator will be dx by dt then again if i put integrator here then input to this integrator is d2x by dt square okay so now that we have d2x by dt square dx by dt and x of t the implementation of gain part comes so if you look at this equation dx by dt is multiplied by b so dx by dt is multiplied by this gain that is b equal to 5 then this x that is x of t is multiplied by k that is spring constant which is 25 here okay and this force is added so now we have f of t here then minus kx here and minus b into dx by dt and this whole addition subtraction is divided by m so as we have assumed mass is equal to 1 kg the gain factor is 1 here so that's how this model completes this equation now since this is a continuous system we'll go to configuration parameter and i can change this to fix step but the solver selection will always be an ODE solver because ODE solvers are used for continuous subsystems okay we'll select it as ODE5 so now if i simulate this model i have here x of t which is displacement dx by dt which is velocity so we are getting some output the first graph is of velocity the second graph is of displacement okay so whenever you implement this kind of equations keep in mind following points that is bring the highest order to one side of the equation and rest of the variables to other side and implement the integration part first then to the gain of those integrated values and if there is any constant and then the whole addition subtraction divided by the multiplier of the highest order derivative so that's all for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning